Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is another episode of Producer Spotlight. This is the February episode, and my guest, my Producer Spotlight guest this month is the one, the only, Michael Severin. Michael, welcome to Producer Spotlight. Man. Thank you very much, Arlen, for having me here. Now, everybody has seen you on TV. I'm sure if they're seeing this show, they, they've seen Art and Soul. Um, they We're up to, like, uh, we're in the 30s on the episodes, I believe, yeah. now, too. Um, what episode are we at now? What Are, are we at 33? Uh, no, we're... Uh, mid mid twenties right now, I think. Okay. But we're yeah. we're quickly approaching that thirty mark, which has been doesn't seem like it's been going that long, but yeah. it's 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 been for the last six months. It went quick. I mean, it went by really fast. Um, one of the reasons I do this is I, I want people to kind of get to know the producer. Like, what what's that person all about? They see your show. They mm -hmm. see what your message is. Um, I want to give them that kind of behind the scenes or a little more about you. Um, talk about yourself. Give me, like, what's your background? How did you get started in all this art stuff? Well, uh, for me, it started out, uh, my mom was an oil painter, and, and so I, I kind of was around it for a long time as growing up, and I did um, a lot of art as I was growing up, but it wasn't until probably about uh, 10 years ago that I kind of started getting more serious about it. And, uh, and over the course of time, I kind of really was wanting to go into full time as as an artist, but um, it's a big financial cliff to jump off of to to make that. So um, I kind of was hesitant about it, and um, for me to bring me to this point right now, having this show was uh, and I I try on this show and I say it all the time. It's not about a spiritual show. It's not about a, uh, any religion, but my faith is, is a really important part of my life. So it's hard to not share that side of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but God really directed me a series of events to bring me to where I was basically forced into being an artist because of being in a hit and run accident and messing up my back and some other issues. Um, and God, I really believe, has brought all of that, those things that it seemed at the time were, were negatives in my life, but have turned it around to where it's directed me to where I'm at today. And, uh, and in fact, right shortly after um, I've wanted to do this show for a number of years, and it just hasn't been, it just hasn't been right. The timing hasn't been right. And then about the time that you and I started talking and we lined it up to get the show rolling and started, mm -hmm. I had another series of negatives that hit my life. Um, and the very first, the, what I call my, um, kind of my, prelude into the, the main show, that pilot that I did the first night, um, I was not in a good state of mind at the time. Oh, wow. I was in a really deep d part of depression at the time, uh, not feeling real good about myself. And the whole, <laughs> the whole gist of the show was because I wanted to do painting, which I'm an okay painter. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say I'm great by any means. There's a lot of excellent painters out there and I'm just okay at best. But I have done motivational speaking in the past mm -hmm. and I wanted to incorporate the painting as well as the inspiration and the encouragement in at the show as well. Mm -hmm. Bob Ross for a long time, everyone knows Bob Ross with the big uh, afro oh, that yeah. was on TV. He's been passed away for a long time now. But his show continues on weekly on public broadcasting. Uh, everyone knows Bob Ross. Mm -hmm. He had a real gentle spirit about him, but he was there encouraging people in, in his message as he was doing the painting. Mm -hmm. My approach is a little different than his, but it's still the same thing. I want viewers, you know, people every week and I get dozens, literally dozens of emails a week from people that watch the show, mm -hmm. which is exciting to me. Oh, yeah. And they don't talk about my painting. Mm. They talk about, thank you for what you said about so and so and so and so. It was encouraging to me. I was having a down day. 
Um, just this last week, I shared it actually on the last week's episode. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lady that here several weeks ago was right on the verge of suicide and had gone in, grabbed a handful of pills, and she sat down on her couch to take the pills to commit her, you know, to kill herself. Mm -hmm. And my show happened to be on, and she said, for whatever reason, I started watching you. Well, I know why. I know that God directed her at that particular moment that that program was on, and by the words of encouragement that I talked about during that show, it got her out of that moment of depression, oh. and it turned her life to where she didn't want to take it any longer. Wow. And that is that makes that just moves me to the the core because that's what I'm wanting this show to be about. Yes, it's about instruction with the painting, but I want it to be personal. I want it, the viewer to know and feel and sense that there's somebody out there that cares about them, mm -hmm. that they can make it through the struggles that they're going through right now in their life. And that's exciting. If I can do that, a lot of, I've been criticized by some of my friends actually because I'm so candid about my own mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and my own struggles. But those struggles I think let people know that, hey, every, everyone goes through them at times in their life. Oh, yeah. and, and that there are people that are out there that care and you can make a difference in their lives. And that's why I, I love this venue and why I love doing the show is because it's not about me and getting my notoriety out there with my painting, which I've, I've, I've gained some of that, but it's the it's the process of helping individuals that are watching every week. That's the part that excites me and motivates me to continue doing this. And I will continue doing this as long as I'm able to do it. That's awesome, man. Well, I'm hoping that, uh, like I said, when we first met, it was on the phone and you had a very clear idea of what Art and Soul was. And I was familiar with Bob Ross. I knew I knew the Bob Ross shows that I'm an, I'm an old OPB and PBS person. so. You know Sesame Street, the whole lineup, Mr. Mm -hmm. Rogers. We watched all that right. when we were kids, and uh, that was so unique when you described. Uh, well, it's a painting show, but it, it's going to be about other stuff too. It's going to be about, you know, using creativity as a way to um, to help you relax. It, there's going to be a spiritual side, a lot of positive messages. I think one of those first couple episodes, I remember, you really went into a spot about how, you know, you can have a relationship with someone your whole life. And just a couple with a couple of words, you can tear all that down. And mm -hmm. and uh, I, I knew right away. I was like, okay, this is a really different show. But the content was so strong. I, I was I, I'm still really glad you came in and you did this. But that was a, a weird interaction for me, where someone had such a clear idea of what they wanted to do. Um, I know not everybody feels that. One of the reasons I wanted to have you on is I'm hoping people out there will watch this and go that maybe inspires them to do something, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Um, you always have a positive message and you always say inspirational things to the viewers while you're painting. And you are a good painter, by the way. You talk <laughs> yourself way down. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's really good art with a really strong message in there too. Um, we're lucky to have it. It's been a pleasure helping you do that. Um, as far as that goes, that's a question I always ask my producers I have on. Do you have any advice you would give someone out there in TV land? If they're watching and they say they wanna learn how to make a show like what got you to make the call? What got you to kind of to find us and find out who we were and call in? Well, I would encourage anybody that if you've got any inclination, uh, e even maybe you don't even have a show necessarily in mind that you'd like to do. The facility here at CCTV, they have got volunteer positions where they teach you how to run cameras. They run you how to teach you how to run all of the sound equipment and the lighting and and all of the controllers and how to how to edit and all of those things that bring a show together it's all here available to the community anybody off the street can come in and learn how to do those things which is just such a great resource and if people knew how that it was here i think that a lot more people would utilize it mm -hmm. but beyond that if you've got an idea of something that you want to do for a show, man, go for it. I, 
this, you know, I, I talk about on my show all the time about, I think everybody needs a creative outlet, something that they have in their life that they can express themselves in some sort of creative way. What better way to do that than in front of a television? I mean, it's it, this is a great venue to express maybe your thoughts, whether it be something that maybe it's political, maybe it's religious and content, maybe it may be controversial to other people, but this gives you a forum that you can express that in a very public manner um, without having all of the problems that you would come into if you went into a more public venue like OPB or, or a national um, um, situation, which, you know, this to me has been, and I was kind of really clear with you that mm -hmm. this was a stepping stone. I wanted this as a stepping stone to step into like OPB or the public broadcast network across the country, something on more on a wide, wider scale. Um, and those opportunities are, are developing, but I couldn't have had those opportunities had it not been for the facility here, the staff, the equipment um, that, that, that we have here. In fact, just before we started recording here, um, I was talking about the, the equipment here. I went down for an audition down in LA um, here about a month ago, and here was this huge studio state of the art and the equipment that you have here is every bit as good of quality as what they had in in that in that studio down there That's awesome. which i came back here going wow you know i'm impressed because for here in salem oregon to have the quality of equipment the quality of the staff that's here um, that's here to help put those programs together i mean it's a win-win-win for the community and for the public in general. So if you've got any, 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 sorry, any indication that you want to do a show, man, contact CCTV. You know, give Arlen a call, Kelly, um, Kirami, any of them here. They can all help you get that idea, start it working and bring it into fruition. And it's actually a lot simpler than what you might think it would be. And, uh, and again, you know, great opportunity just even if you don't want to be in front of a camera to come in and you get some training on some equipment that really is would be valuable for you. That's one of the things that pulled me in here though was I wanted to learn uh, how to make TV shows and mm -hmm. film. I just didn't know how it worked. I looked into what uh, film school costs. It's one of the most expensive schools you can go to. I had no idea film school was so expensive. So calling around I found out about it and then the executive director gave me a job don't know why he did that but he did and I've been here ever since but um, thank you for the kind words like that means a lot that 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 you've said that uh, about us and, our, and the quality of the equipment and what we do I really appreciate that I know when we look at the future we're working on HD channels that that's kind of that last piece of the puzzle everything mm -hmm. we do is in HD when they see your YouTube channel that's beautiful HD we're almost there mm -hmm. we're, we're that's the last piece so it's a good time for people to get involved. You mentioned that about the future, though. What what does the future hold for you? That's a very good question. You know, and, and just like every step along the way that I've taken, it's all in God's hands. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I try to just get up every day. I sit down on my canvas and I, and I paint and try to go through the open doors as opportunities as they come along. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's some really good things in the works right now. Uh, I just, you know, the timing is everything. And I believe that God opened up the doors that when he did for me to bring me in here at CCTV and the right doors will open for me to maybe become something on a larger scale. And uh, if and when that happens, that'll be great. Um, I'm not worried about it. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And it's just a matter of, of just taking every day as it comes and, and doing the best that I can to be the best I can be at that moment in that day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I have on my, um, on my YouTube, there's a, every 
time I post, there's a little segment that I put on there. There's two people that have the greatest impact and the reason why I'm here. One is God, without his talents, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm not great, but I've developed what God has given me and I continue to strive to better that. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is CJ. Everyone asks about CJ. Oh yeah. Um, at the end of every show, if you've watched the show, I always say, CJ, I love you. Um, I sign every one of my paintings with CJ. CJ is a huge part of my life. I think about before I go to bed at night, first thing I will think about when I wake up in the morning. Wow. Everybody wants to know who CJ is. I'd have to kill you, Arlen, if I told you. All right, I mean, it, it, <laughs> just knowing CJ's out there and you think CJ and that you, you always let CJ know you love, you, the, the love is there. That's, that's enough for me. And it's the inspiration. Yeah. And everybody yeah. needs an inspiration in their life. Yeah, And uh, so hopefully, maybe through my show, I can be an inspiration to you. And that, that's, ex that's exciting, and that's what I want to do. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on the show, Michael. I appreciate the time and good. the opportunity. That's a good interview. I had a good time. Yeah. I did, too. Yeah. Thank you for the chance. We're lucky to have you on the air. You contribute a lot of good content to the channel, and you make the world a better place, and I thank you for it. Well, thank you, Arlen. I appreciate those words. Well, I can't wait till we get together on Thursday. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in. We have war we look at our website, cctvsalem.org. Um, we talk about our orientations. That's how you can get involved for the first time. We do studio classes after that. You can learn how to do a show like Michael did, cameras. Uh, we've got final cut classes for editing. Please go to our website and check it out. Thank you for watching. CJ, as always, I love you.